it is. A fire sense patio heater. 46,000 BTU output, gray finish. Weighted base with water box, so I guess it doesn't blow over that easy, hopefully. Stainless steel burner and heating grid. Safety auto shut off tilt valve. Wheels for easy mobility. Oh, okay, I didn't know that. Wheels. And uses a standard 20 pound liquid propane gas tank. And we have 61 degrees today, so we will use it hopefully in time for dinner. And we're gonna put it together, so here we go. Here are your directions. This is showing a 60 minute assembly, so maybe this is not a dinner time project, but we will get it started. First step, attach the wheels. We're on a deck, so I'm gonna put these over either a box or plastic so it doesn't fall to you. And then we're gonna put them in right there. Two small bolts in. together, hand tighten.
which is the lower post G to the post supports I. Once you have tightened the bolts holding the post supports I to the base J, align the holes in the lower post G with the holes on the top of the post supports and insert a large bolt N through the hole in the post support. N. Use bolt O for the bottom. You can see my hands, right? Mm -hmm. Whoa. Don't drop screws if you're on the deck, because you can lose them. Yep, and I like it really <laughs> bad. And you see, here we got it. And we have a wrench right here. And that's gonna be in a 10, 10 millimeter is what we have here so that'll be 10 millimeter to tighten it Where do we get this from? Costco? I think this is a Costco item. Make sure they're tight. Okay. Next, attach the upper post F to the lower post G by screwing the two pieces of the post together. Right here. Face up. We only have threads on one side. Next, number six, attach reflector studs P to the top of the head assembly C. Insert one reflector stud through one large flat washer Q and into the hole on the top of the head assembly. Tighten studs securely. Repeat with the other two reflector studs. Here's the head assembly. This is the top washer. Step number seven, attach the head assembly, which is C to the upper post F and root the gas hose down into the upper lower post F and G. Align four small holes on the head assembly with four small holes in the upper post. Control knob should be above the decal on the post. Insert four small bolts with the lock washers R through the aligned four holes and tighten securely with the wrench. Here's your four small bolts with lock washer. Put them right in the hole there. Make sure it's aligned up. Right in there. Do that three more times. Okay. 
10 millimeter. Reflector panel. It says make sure to remove the blue reflector tape on the reflector pieces prior to assembly. So let's take all that off right now. Here we go, we have the panels. It says lay them out, something like that. Lay them all out, and then you can start screwing them together. Number nine, while supporting heater, 
tilt the head assembly C and slide three large flat washers over the reflector studs P. Place the reflector assembly onto the reflector studs and slide three large flat washers over the reflector studs and onto the reflector assembly and secure with three wing nuts U. Tighten the wing nuts and return the heater to an upright position. Number 10, connect the hose and regulator to the LP cylinder. The LP cylinder is sold separately. Use a standard 20 pound propane cylinder only. Lift the tank housing up and rest it on the top of the assembled post supports L. Just like that. Screw the regulator onto the gas hose. Do not cross thread. Hand tighten securely, then tighten with an adjustable wrench. I then attach the regulator to the valve on the LP cylinder and hand tighten securely. Place LP tank onto the base of heater. Secure the LPG tank by attaching the tank onto the base of the heater. Secure the LPG tank by attaching the chain, L, onto the post supports. Lower the tank housing. Fill this up with water. Now I'm gonna connect the gas, so I'll take this apart. Take the cover off. Get your hose. Put it on there, hand tighten this on. Nice and snug. Then make sure your buttons on top are closed. Buttons are closed. And then we can just turn this on. Pour some soapy water on there. If there's any bubbles, you know you have a leak. If you don't, then you have no leak. See anything? All right, so I think we are done down here. Put the battery in. All right, put a triple A battery in there. Screw this back on. I just started this up, so we'll have to purge the system first. All right, after holding in for two minutes, we we'll start it. And this is the first light up. A little bit of smoke. And it's probably burning off some of the finish on there, but you can see the flame coming up. See the flame colors coming out? All right, 
it's starting to clear up. We're getting some color all over there. Some smoke. A little bit of smoke. Can't really see now, but I guess at night it'd be easier to see. It does say that in here. A little bit of flame. Now that screen will turn red, it says. Right, red. And it should have blue and yellow flames, which we can't see too much right now. But I can definitely see some flames coming out of there and I can feel some heat, and I'm like two feet away. But uh, looks like that's it right now. So it's not too cold, it actually warmed up. now 64, 61 when we started, but. Like I said, I could feel it, I'm about two feet away, and we will uh, let us know if you have any questions about building this or how it's working and uh, try to get back to you. Until then, see you next time.